On regular basis, you must be referring calendar, either hard copy or soft copy. In today's video, we will see how we can create holiday and task calendar in Excel. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. This is a holidays and task calendar which I have created in Excel. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. On the top, we have got month and year. And both the things will be managed through drop downs. If I click on month, we can see a drop down. And all our months are over here. When I click on year, we can select the year. Currently we are in the month of January and we can see all our tasks along with our holidays. Even our second Saturday and fourth Saturdays are included. If I change the month and we'll do it February, now we can see all the holidays and all the tasks of February. In the same way, if I change the month and we'll do it March, we can see all the holidays of March. We can't see any task over here because I haven't planned any task for March. If I'll go to January and we'll change the year, we'll do as 2026. Our format is blank. Let's do it 2025 once again. In this format, there will be total two sheets. First one will be setting sheet. In setting sheet, we will have all our dates and holidays. Means we will have our holidays list. Just after that, we have got our task list. And task list is along with the dates. Just after that, we have got our months and years. One more thing over here. If our dates will be matching with our holidays, it will be automatically highlighted. First of January is new year. Let me highlight this. If I try to insert any task in my task list, let's do it 1st Jan 25. Enter. It automatically got highlighted because on 1st Jan, we have got our holidays. If any task will be repeated in my task list, it will also be highlighted. On 2nd Jan, we have got our banking task. Let's insert 2nd Jan over here also. Enter. And both the dates got highlighted. And if the dates are getting highlighted, it means you will have to change your plan. Let's start creating a new format now. I have inserted a new workbook. Currently, I have got just one sheet. I'll rename the sheet as settings. I'll take the data of settings from my example file. We'll copy the whole data. Control C or Command C. We'll go to our blank workbook and we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. We'll go to View tab and we'll remove the grid lines. In setting sheet, we have got our holidays list, our dates and holidays name. I have included second and fourth Saturday of every month. And when we come down, from here we can see our holidays list. We'll go on top. Just after our holidays list, we have got our task. I have already planned my task. Let me show you how to plan your task. I'll delete all the dates from here and it will be blank. Now I'll plan a new task. We'll insert a date. Enter. As soon as I inserted 1st Jan, it got automatically highlighted. Because on 1st of Jan, we have got our holidays. It means we will have to change the plan. Let's delete conditional formatting from here and we'll apply conditional formatting again. We'll select the whole sheet. We'll go to Home tab. We'll come in the center. Over here, we get the option of conditional formatting. I'll click on drop down. We'll come down. Clear rules. Clear rules from entire sheet. And all the conditional formatting got removed. I'll delete 1st Jan from here. In column B and column E, we will have our dates. So I'll select column B. We'll press Ctrl or Command. And we'll select column E also. Means I'll select all the dates. Now I'll go to Home tab. We'll come in the center. Conditional formatting. We'll click on drop down. Highlight cell rule. We'll come in the right hand side and we'll select duplicate values. We'll click on drop down. Customize format. Fill. We'll click on drop down and we'll select a desired color. We'll go to font and we'll change the font color and we'll do OK. OK. 9th August got automatically highlighted. Let's come down. On 9th August, we have got a holiday and on 9th August, we have got second Saturday. So same date is getting repeated. Only reason it got highlighted. Let's go on top. In my task, I'll insert a task on 1st Jan. Enter. And it got automatically highlighted. Because on 1st of Jan, we have got a holiday of new year. If I'll insert 2nd Jan over here. Enter. It's not highlighted. And when I'll drag down my dates, 11th and 14th Jan are getting highlighted. Because 11th Jan is 2nd Saturday. And 14th Jan is a holiday. And we can see the highlights in our task list 
as well as holidays list. I'll delete all the dates from here. We'll remove the highlight of new year. Now I'll take all the tasks and their dates from my example file. We'll copy all the things. Control C or Command C. We'll go to our new format and we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. Second Jan got highlighted. I'll delete second Jan from here and the highlight got vanished. Our setting sheet is ready now. Let's insert a new sheet and over here we will be creating our calendar. We'll rename the sheet as calendar. We'll take column A closer. We'll click on B2. We'll select the whole column and we'll select C also and we'll increase the column size. We'll select row number 2 and we'll increase the row size. We'll click on B2 and we'll select C2 also. We'll go to home tab and we'll change the cell color. We'll change the font color. We'll change the font style. We'll select Arial Black. We'll increase the font size. Now I'll click on B2. We'll go to Data. In Data, we get the option of Data Validation. We'll click on Data Validation. We can see any value. We'll click on any value and we'll select List. Source. We'll go to our setting sheet. We'll take this to left and we'll select Months from top. Means we will select from January to December and we'll do OK. So the drop down list of months got created. We'll select January. We'll go to home and we'll reduce the font size. We'll adjust this in center. Now we will click next to January. We'll go to data. Data validation. From here we will select list. Source. We'll go to our setting sheet. We'll take this to left and we'll select years from top to bottom. And we'll do OK. So the drop down list of years got created. We'll select 2025. We'll go to home and we'll adjust this in center. We'll reduce the font size. Perfect. Now I'll click just under January and we'll select till H. I have selected total 7 cells for 7 days. We'll go to home tab and we'll create borders. We'll change the cell color. We'll change the font color. We'll change the font style. We'll select as Arial Bold. I'll type Monday over here. We'll align this in center. We'll drag this to right. Later on, we will formulate our days. We'll select the whole sheet. We'll go to Home tab. We'll come in the center. In the center, we get the option of conditional formatting. We'll click on conditional formatting. Highlight cell rule. Equal to. And over here, I'll type Saturday. We'll click on drop down. Customize format. We'll go to Fill. We'll click on drop down and we'll select red color. Font. Font color will be white. And we'll do OK. OK. So our Saturday got highlighted. We'll go to conditional formatting once again. Highlight cell rule. Equal to. And this time I'll type Sunday. We'll click on drop down. Customize format. Fill. From here I'll select red color. We'll go to font. And we'll change the font color. And we'll do OK. Okay, so our Saturdays and Sundays got highlighted. If I'll do Sunday over here, it got automatically highlighted. I'll undo this. Control Z or Command Z. We'll click on January and we'll select my year also. And we'll create outside border. Now I'll click just under first day means I'll click under Monday and we'll insert the formula for first date and the formula will be plus or equal to date value bracket open double inverted comma 1, double inverted comma close and we'll click on month and we'll click on year. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We got some random figure. We'll click on random figure and we'll align this in center. We'll select the whole row. We'll press control 1. Format cells window will open. We'll go to date and we'll select a desired date format. I have selected the format in which I can see date along with month and we'll do OK. So we can see 1st Jan over here. If I change the month, we'll do as Feb. We can see 1st of February. As of now, I'll keep as January. We'll reduce font size a little bit more. Now I'll click just after 1st date and we'll insert the formula for 2nd date. Formula for 2nd date and rest of the dates will be same. Let's apply our formula. Plus or equal to if bracket open. I'll click on my first date, we'll press F4 or function F4 three times and dollar will be inserted just before my cell reference. Is smaller than. 
E O month means end of the month. Bracket open. I'll click on start date once again. We'll press F4 or function F4 and my cell will be logged. Comma zero. We'll close the bracket. Comma. We'll click on start date once again. Plus one. Comma double inverted comma twice for blank. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got our second date over here. We'll align this in center. We'll drag this to right. Means till Sunday. Now I'll click on first day, and we'll delete the day from here. And we'll insert the formula for day. Our cell color is blue. If I'll insert my formula, it will not be visible. I'll do it no fill, and we'll change the font color as black. Now I'll insert my formula, and the formula will be plus or equal to text. Bracket open. We'll click on first date. Comma, double inverted comma, D D D D means D four times. Double inverted comma, close bracket, close, and we will hit enter, and we got Wednesday. Now we can change the cell color, and we'll change the font color also. Currently, our Saturday and Sunday is on right hand side. Now let's drag the formula and see what result we are going to get. Now our Saturday and Sunday got shifted in the center. If I change the month, we'll do as May. And as my dates got changed, my highlights also got changed. We'll do this as January. Now I'll click on first Jan. We'll press Shift Control Right Arrow Key, and we'll change the cell color. We'll change the font color also. We'll create borders. We'll copy this Control C or Command C. We'll leave row number five blank, and we'll paste in row number six Control V or Command V. We can see value error. We'll click on B6. And we'll delete value error. Plus or equal to, we'll come to extreme right hand side, and we'll click on seventh Jan, plus one, enter. Now we can see fourth Jan to seventh Jan, eighth Jan to fourteenth Jan. Now I'll click on eighth Jan. We'll press Shift Control Right Arrow Key. We'll copy this Control C or Command C. We'll come to B eight. Means we will leave row number seven blank. We'll paste the formula over here. Control V or Command V. We'll paste over here also, and we'll paste in B12 also. Perfect. So after 31st Jan, it's blank. If I change the month, we'll do as February. After 28th Feb, we can see 1st March. If I'll do this April, after 30th April, we can't see anything. Let's do it Jan once again. Now I'll click just after year, and we'll select till end. We'll merge this together. We'll change the cell color, and we'll change the font color. We'll change the font style. We'll select as Arial Black. We'll increase the font size. This will be Holidays and Task Calendar. We'll go to View and we'll remove the grid lines. We'll click on First Date and we'll select all the dates. We'll select one extra row and we'll create borders. We'll go to Home and we'll create borders. Perfect. Now I'll select all the blank rows. That is number five. I'll press Control or Command. We'll select number seven, number nine, number eleven, and number thirteen, and we'll increase the size. We'll leave it selected. We'll go to Home tab. In Home tab, in the center, we get the option of Wrap Text. I'll click on Wrap Text. Perfect. We'll go on top. We'll align all the things in center. We'll go on top once again. Perfect. In First Jan, I'll type New Year. Enter. We'll click on New Year. We'll go to Home tab. We'll come in the center. Conditional formatting. Highlight cell rule. From here, I'll select is equal to. Now, from the drop down, I'll select not equal to. And over here, I'll put double inverted comma twice for blank. If the cells will not be blank, then only it should be highlighted. We'll click on drop down. Customize format. Fill. From here, I'll select a desired color, and we'll change the font color, and we'll do. Okay, okay. So my new year got highlighted. What will happen if I drag this to right? All the cells are getting highlighted, which have got values. I'll drag this to extreme right, and we'll delete all the figures from here. Now none of the cells are highlighted. If I type something over here, it will be automatically highlighted. I'll delete this. We'll copy all the cells, Control C or Command C, and we'll paste in blank rows. Perfect. Let's go on top. Now we will insert our formula over here. Over here we are going to use VLOOKUP, and we will use double VLOOKUP over here. Let's see how. 
I'll insert the formula in parts for better understanding. Plus or equal to V lookup. Bracket open. Lookup value. Date is my lookup value. Comma. Table array. will go to my setting sheet. Over here we have got two list. In the beginning, I'll select my holidays list and I'll select from top. I've selected dates as well as holidays. We'll press F4 or function F4 and my range will be logged. Comma. Column index number. Selection of VLOOKUP started from dates. So dates automatically became column index number 1. Name of holidays became column index number 2. So I'll put 2 over here. Comma. 0 for exact match. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got new year. What will happen if I drag this to right? I'm getting NA error. Let's delete all these things. Let's come to new year once again. Now we will insert second VLOOKUP over here. It's a little bit tricky, so you will have to observe very minutely. I'll double click on new year. We'll come in the beginning of formula and we'll insert if error. Bracket open. We'll come to the end of the formula. Comma. We will insert second VLOOKUP now. VLOOKUP. Bracket open. Lookup value. Lookup value is our first date. Comma. Table array. We'll go to setting sheet. And this time we will select task list along with dates. We'll press F4 or function F4 and the range will be logged. Comma. Column index number. Selection of VLOOKUP started from dates. So dates became column index number 1 and task became column index number 2. So I'll put 2 over here. Comma. 0 for exact match. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We found a typo in your formula and try to correct it. I forgot to insert one more bracket, so I got correction alert. I'll do yes. Let's drag this to right and see what result we are going to get. In few cells, I can see NA error. I'll undo this. We'll double click on the formula once again. Over here, we have already used if error. I'll come in the beginning of formula and we'll insert the criteria of if NA. If NA. Bracket open. We'll come to the end. Comma. Double inverted comma twice for blank. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now let's drag this to right. And this time we can see our holidays and task. Cell color of holidays and task are looking very dark. I'll go to home tab. Conditional formatting. We'll come down. Manage rules. And this is the rule of our holidays. We'll click on edit rule. Customize format. We'll click on drop down. We'll go to fill. We'll click on drop down. And we'll select light gray color. We'll go to font. And we'll do as black. And we'll do OK. 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 And the color got changed. Now I'll click on new year. Means I'll click on very first holiday. In case there is no holiday, then also you will have to select your data from here only. We'll select till end. We'll copy this. Control C or Command C. And we'll paste in row number 7. Control V or Command V. We'll paste over here also. Control V or Command V. We'll come down. We'll paste in row number 11 and in row number 13. Perfect. Now I'll go on top and we'll select from column B to column H. And we'll adjust the column size. Perfect. And our calendar is ready now. If we will change the month, we'll do as February. We can see all the holidays and tasks of February. We'll do as January once again. On 4th Jan, we can't see anything. Let's go to our setting sheet. And over here, I'll insert 4th Jan. Enter. We'll insert my name over here. Monk. Enter. Let's go to our calendar. And on 4th Jan, we can see Monk. So our format is ready now. I'll provide link of the file in description box. In case you want to download, you can. But the download option is only for channel members. You can join the channel membership to download the file. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then. Bye-bye.